hi there and welcome to today's channel my name is Eberichi Igwe Obona and I'm the creative director of Eric's Academy of Fashion on today's video I'm going to show you how my student at Eric's Academy of Fashion was able to create this bald baby dress with roses and if you want to learn how to make this just keep watching to the very end so for the materials you're going to be needing 18 yards of organza, 3 yards door face, 2 yards of lining, half yard lace, zip thread and for equipment you're going to be needing hand needle and sewing machine. So um, to, we're basically going to be focusing on the lower part of this dress and we used 18 yards of organza. So for the 18 yards of organza we cut it into 7 inch strips each. 7 inches by 18, 18 yards of fabric and by the time it was cut it was being folded in half to give you three and a half inches for each three and a half inches front three and a half inches back then it was gathered with hand needle so there was um, a flay fabric cut. The doll face was cut into a 360 degree flay. I'm going to add the link to making the 360 degree flay in this video. I'm going to add the link to making the 360 in this video. So when you cut the 360 degree flay, we marked circles round, like circles round the areas we wanted to have circles and then we started creating the roses from the outermost part of the circles toward the inside. So after creating the roses in the different areas, we found out that there were areas that were not and could not really be covered by roses. So we just made markings, more like freehand spiral markings around the edges and fill them up with the organza so for it to be very neat and closely knit we just used 0 0.25 to 0 0.5 inch intervals so that it would be very full and very neat without having untidy finishings so on on the left and the right edges of the flay you're going to leave one inch sewing allowance actually one inch zip allowance before you now attach it to the upper part of this baby dress so for the upper part of the baby dress I'm going to add the link to making the pattern in the description box below so this is actually how the flare looks before we eventually attach it to the upper part note that before you get to this point that by, before you get to this point you have to leave half at least half inch or one inch on the upper edge of the on the upper edge of the flay so that you'd comfortably attach it to the upper part of the baby dress so if you like this video give it a thumbs up share and subscribe to our channel i'm going to be adding more live videos from our classroom in this channel thanks for watching see you in the next training video